In this video, I'll show you how we can add one collapsing toolbar layout. So we have this first fragment and if I click on this second button, then it moves to the second fragment and we have one toolbar here at the top. So I'll replace the toolbar of this first fragment with one collapsing toolbar. For that, first thing I need to change is in this fragment first XML file. So I need to remove this constraint layout. So I'm gonna use coordinator layout. So coordinator layout is the recommended layout with collapsing toolbar. Then here we need to use one app for layout and with its match parent and the height is we can give any height for one app bar layout. So for now I'm giving it as 240 dp. And inside this app bar layout, we need to add the collapsing tool bar layout. So I'm gonna add the collapsing tool bar layout here. The width is match parent and the height is match parent. And also we need to add one theme here. So under theme, so I'm gonna use one default the uh, predefined team so team overlay dot app compet dot dark dot action bar so this team is for dark action bars so the content of this action bar that is the color tool toolbar layout will be light that means it will show the, the title and subtitle in the collapse tool toolbar layout in light color then also we need to give one content stream for that i'm gonna use this attribute and color primary and also we can give one expanded title gravity so it is top so this expanded title gravity so it specifies how the title should be positioned when the toolbar is expanded so the title will be placed at top we can also provide a couple of scroll flags so it's called layout scroll flags so these scroll flags are these flags defined like how the scroll should behave and exit suppose i'm adding this scroll exit until collapse and snap so it will define how the content of this collapse into layout layout should behave while we are scrolling and here i'm gonna add one image view this image view will be used as the background of this collapsing toolbar layout so it is match parent height is match parent and the skill type skill type it's center crop and so we can give one collapse mode so the collapse mode is parallax and let me add one image in this travel folder so here I'm gonna add one a new folder drivable no DPI. So I'm placing this uh, this image this PNG file here. So this file will use as the background of this collapsing toolbar. So here uh, in this image view, I need to use it as a background. So for that, I need to use source Android source travel leaves. Now you can see that it is used as a background for this this image view is as the use as a background. Also, we need one toolbar here. So this toolbar will be shown once the this collapsing toolbar is collapsed. So width is match parent and the height is so I'm gonna use the attribute action bar size. Action bar size. Then also I'm gonna use one elevation here. Suppose it is 40 p. Then also I'm gonna use one theme for this toolbar. So similar to this uh, app, uh, collapsing toolbar layout. So I'm gonna use one predefined theme. Style theme overlay dot app complete dot drag dot action bar now i'm gonna put these buttons in a nested scroll view so after this app for layout is ended i'm gonna put one nested scroll view here nested scroll view with this 
match parent and hide this wrap content so i'm gonna put both these buttons inside this scroll view so these buttons i'm gonna put it inside one linear layout so with his match parent and the height is rep content and we want it in a vertical view so orientation is vertical then let me cut it from here and these two buttons will be placed inside this linear layout so to work this instead scroll view with the collapsing toolbar layout we need to add one more property it's called layout behavior so i'm gonna use the scrolling view behavior and after i added this property you can see that this is placed like below this collapsing toolbar layout now since we are using this collapsing toolbar layout here we need to remove the toolbar from this activity main xml file so i'm removing the toolbar from here and from the acti main activity file we need to remove the part where we are setting this toolbar so i'm gonna remove all these parts lines and we need to set up this collapsing toolbar with the navigation component so that thing we need to do inside this first fragment so we need to do it inside on view created and here before this super is called we need to do the setup first i'm gonna get the nav controller so we can use find nav controller to get the navigation controller then i'm gonna get create one app for configuration object app for configuration and here i'm gonna use the app for configuration and i'm gonna pass the graph that is the nav graph to this object then i'm gonna get the toolbar from here so i have not added one id here let me add one id first for the toolbar let me add one id so here i'm gonna create this toolbar variable view dot find view by id and it's of type toolbar and here are dot id dot toolbar also we need one id for the collapsing toolbar layout so here i'm gonna add the id id collapsing toolbar layout and here inside this fragment i'm gonna get this layout so view dot find view by id collapsing toolbar layout and here i'm gonna get it r dot id dot collapsing toolbar layout now we can use this layout that is the collapsing toolbar layout to set up with the nav controller so we need to use this method here set up with nav controller and here we need to pass the toolbar as the first argument and nav controller as the second one and app for configuration as the third one so that's all now let me restart the app now you can see that this collapsing toolbar is added here and it's responding to if i'm scrolling then it's moving uh, collapsing and it's moving to the to toolbar so that's all i hope that you learned how you can implement collapsing toolbar in navigation component so if you love this video please like it and please subscribe to my channel it will be shared on github you can download it from the link that I mentioned in the description below. If you have any questions, please drop one comment. Thanks. Bye.